Devin Haney says he's willing to take the same deal that Ryan Garcia did to make the Gervonta Tank Davis fight happen. However, he's not willing to fight at the catch weight. He responded to a tweet on Twitter today where basically on the Rise podcast, Senior Kenny, Coach Kenny was on there and uh, Senior was mentioning that the reason why the fight doesn't happen or there's so many issues is because Devin is trying to come to the table saying, I want 50-50, I want 60-40, but he's not worth that. His numbers don't support that. His ticket sales don't support that. Uh, Coach Kenny was saying that Devin ticket sales was cut in half uh, just a little bit before his fight so that it would look like he sold more tickets, that he did 40,000 pay-per-view buys, right? So again, remember that uh, no one Tank has fought has ever sold any pay-per-views. Now, I don't know that Devin has said he needs 50-50 or 60-40. I don't even really know what Ryan's split was, honestly. Did he get a guarantee up front? Did he get a percent of the back end? I really don't know those details. Clearly, y'all know them, right? But Devin basically said, I told y'all I would take the same deal. Y'all over there scared to death. So some people would say the same deal involves not only the money and the purse split, but also the weight. Ryan accepted a 136-pound catch weight, rehydration clause, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. However, I haven't heard Tank say that he needs those things in the contract. I haven't heard Tank say anything about where he needs that fight. Now, if Tank were to send an offer to Devin and it had 136 in it with rehydration clause in it, with these percentages in it, then, you know, I would say, okay, well, Devin's turning down, you know, X, Y, and Z. But until an offer is sent, then we don't really know what Tank wants. You know, Tank may want to fight at a higher weight. Because Tank is definitely cutting weight to fight at 135. It's not like he just can show up. No, he he's doing some, he's doing a little, you know what I'm saying? A little bit to get to that weight of 135. And uh, I already showed you the video where he says that uh, he have no problem fighting at 140. But wherever they fight, it needs to be hashed out in an offer in a contract. Um, Tank also tweeted today that, He's ready, he's ready for whatever they send, meaning Al Heyman. If they say they want him to fight this person, he'll do it. He's ready for whatever. Devin just tweeted that he's fighting April 20th, right? And he'll probably fight on Dazzin. So I don't think they're going to fight next, and I don't think the world is ending if they don't fight next. I think that Devin can raise his profile. I, I put it like this. Devin's career is at the beginning. We're not talking about somebody who's Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford age that's 35. This man is 25 and already fighting on pay-per-view. So if you really look at what Devin's doing already in his career, it's very good. Everybody builds up and builds up. So I don't really see the point of knocking him for where he's at today because 30,000 becomes, you know, 80,000 and 100,000, 120,000, 300,000. No different than Tank. Right. Tank basically did 300,000 pay-per-views consistently. Then when he fought Ryan, he did 1.2 million. Ryan basically did, or not even basically, he did do zero pay-per-view buys before fighting Tank. So your, your, your dancing partner has a lot to do with it. And there is different fan bases. As you all know, the Green Print says you fight Mexicans. The Green Print says you fight people of a different country that... that a different race will be behind them, right? Because when Devin and Tank fight, it's basically two black fighters, two black American fighters. A lot of us rock with both of them, just like Spence and Crawford. There's no reason Spence Crawford should have only did 700,000 pay-per-view buys. That fight should have did way over a million, but it didn't because there wasn't a group that hates the other side. Basically, we rock, we both rock with them or... You know, we just like LeBron over Kobe or Jordan over Kobe or Jay-Z over Nas. But when you put in a different race, it becomes something else. Damn near a race war, should I say. So all these people really thought Ryan could beat Tank. You know, they actually think that Ryan could do something with Tank. And some of us really know boxing. We really follow boxing. And we know better. So, you know, if Devin and Tank want to fight, I think Devin should fight Ryan. 
right before he fights Tank. That'll make that fight even bigger. And I think that Tank can almost fight whoever he wants, but he needs to fight a name for his own sake. Why would you want to go backwards? Why Again, it's like any business. If you sell $1.2 million in product, you don't want to follow that next run up or your next product up with half those numbers. No, you want to hit that number again, go over that number. So who can you fight that'll give you that number, right? So y'all can pick and choose who y'all think Tank is fighting next. Rumors that he might be fighting in the UK this summer. I don't really know. Uh, so either way, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Um, you know, a lot of people said, well, Devin should accept everything as the B-side. And, uh, you know, if he wins, then he can kind of dictate some stuff in the rematch. I think that both sides should stand firm. You know what I mean? Uh, if Devin's going to concede with the purse and all of that, then, you know, he has every right to hold to whatever weight he feels like he'll be his best at. I don't want to see Devin depleted personally. As a boxing, I'm not Tank. You know what I mean? I'm not on Tank's team. I don't get a I don't get a penny when Tank fights. I think that from a boxing fan standpoint, I don't want to see Devin Haney a shell of himself. I don't want to see him, you know, looking depleted at 135. Whereas I don't think Tank would be any worse at 140. I think he might be stronger. I think he might be healthier, right? But at the same time. The people that said Devin been at 35 too long, he need to move up. He's a weight bully at 35. Now they want Devin to come back down to 35, 36, where they just said he was too big for the weight. So it's funny what we'll say just to protect the fighter that don't need protecting. Tank don't need nobody protection. Neither do Devin. So both of them need to figure it out and fight. Don't really care. So let me know what y'all think in the comments. It's the baddest brand in the land. Champ side. Peace.